Everybody thinks I'm a Hawkeye fan, but really, I am a truly a Cyclone fan, especially when we got Johnny Orr in the studio. I love that guy. Right. Yeah, you know, right. Okay. Live at five, news like you've never heard it before because we make up our own news as we go along. Once again, Jim and Anita. He's taking over the joint. <laughs> Boy. Boy, we are very, very excited to have our very special guest with us here today on this Friday Live at Five. A man who... I used to think was known for his basketball skills, but evidently it's his musical skills that has really brought him his claim to fame, Jeff. Well, he's got a lot of talents, and we're going to talk with John in just a minute. But before we do that, we've prepared a little look at uh, the candid Johnny Orr at his best, or if you will, at his worst. Let's take a look at it. guys well that box down there in the score that's a technical foul i don't care what it is that's a technical foul <laughs> not for me that excites you <laughs> bro they all stand up and i walk out there and they play here's johnny <laughs> those guys don't want to even go out there and now here's johnny <laughs> Thank you, Jeff. John, you're one of the state's most popular figures. You've done it in less than eight years. You're a hero here. How have you accomplished that? Oh, oh I'm not a hero, <laughs> Jeff. I have a good time. I love Iowa, I think, and I love Iowa State, and I think I'm sincere about it, and people are very, very nice to me. I really do. I would like to say one thing. Yeah. I just came from the hospital, and a great friend of Jim's and mine and all the sports fans in Iowa, Rocky Weaver's in the hospital, and I want to wish him the very best. Hope he makes a recovery here. He had a terrible accident, lost his wife, and, and he's uh, in bad shape up there, but he's doing his best. Well, we wish him the very best, and uh, we want to get the audience involved here, the chance to meet one of their heroes here, and we have some questions from the audience. Jim, who's got our first question? Okay, Jeff, thank you very much. Uh, what is your name, ma'am? Where are you from? Uh, my name is June Lowry, and I'm from Des Moines. Okay, June. Um, I'm a Hawkeye fan, but I like Johnny. Okay, so my good. question is, what do you really think of Jim Zabel, and um, <laughs> how, do you, how do you get along with him? We're in trouble now. I get, along, I get along with Jim very well. I've known him for, I was just thinking, I think the first interview I had with Jim was probably around 30 years ago. Yeah, maybe. And uh, I've had some great interviews with him. I think he's always prejudiced, <laughs> you know? The Hawks, and sometimes he gets a little mixed up now. He's getting older, and he can't remember all the names. And I do the same, I do the same thing, so I, I sympathize with him for that. We have another question over here. Now, you have to be a Cyclone fan wearing Cyclone Red. What's your name, and where are you from? Uh, Norma Butcher, Des Moines, Iowa. And I would like to know what the most satisfying victory was last year. Well, I, you know, <laughs> that's got to be the Iowa game. Uh, when, we, when we beat Iowa 104 to 102, I think... Uh, that was the greatest uh, game that I've ever been involved in. That was a super game, both teams. Okay, Coach, one more question from a young fan right here. What's your name? Where are you from? Um, I'm Matt Samick from Minneapolis, Minnesota. Okay, Matt, what's your question? Um, are you going to beat the Hawkeyes next, <laughs> next time you play them? Matt, I wish I could tell you yes, but I can't <laughs> tell you that, Matt. I think it's going to be a tough year next year to beat them. You got another question? John, I want to ask you, when you've got uh, Jeff Greer just graduated from your, from your team, number one draft pick in the NBA, and he's uh, now trying out for the Olympics. He's one of the finals. Do you think he'll stick in the uh, final 12? Well, I certainly hope he does, uh, Jeff. He's a great kid and uh, does a super job. I okay. think he's going to do it. I hope so. We'll be back, uh, Jim. Yeah, more uh, with the coach, uh, Johnny and Jeff, coming back right after this. Live at 5. 